Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Good and Geeky, and today we're looking at the application Hook. It's an application to link files, websites, emails, PDFs, and deep links into PDFs to notes, text applications, and research tools like Obsidian and Craft, and I think it's really useful for productivity. Hook saves you from using search so often during a project. Whatever you need for the project, just make a link to it to get back to it really easily. So once you've made the link, you paste these links or hooks into notes and task lists or wherever you have the home base for your project. So what I've done is I've set up a couple of um, project bases here, one here in Craft, which is one of my favourite applications, and another one here in Drafts, just to show you the difference between the two. I really like Craft, by the way. It's an excellent application for keeping notes and keeping track of stuff, and it's just great because you can put all sorts of stuff in it. So these can be bi-directional links that you can go from the project base to whatever you've linked to or you can go from, for example, a file which has been hooked to back to the project base. The deep linking is particularly useful if you're working with long documents. Rather than the hook taking you to the start of a PDF, it can take you to a specific point in the PDF where the information is that you need. So let's make a link. So let's go to this web page here, which is the web page for S, and I'm going to do a hook. Start off by using the activate hook shortcut on the keyboard, which I've got as shift, control, option and command and H, which I've mapped to the caps lock. So now I only have to do it caps lock and H. So this brings up the hook pop up window. So what I want to do now is I want to do command and C and that has copied the link. Now what I want to do is I want to go to, say, for instance, the um, this page here, which is on the max app store and I want to do keyboard shortcut again do um, caps lock and H and now I do command and V so those two are now linked together so if I do a uh, caps lock and H now to bring up the window again you can see that it takes a little while for it to come up you can see that I've got this one here which is the effortless text transformation that is the link back to the website if I press the return key now That'll take me to that website which I linked. And if I do the hook it link again, so if I go from that there, just wait for it to load up, and it brings me to wherever it was hooked, which is the S on the App Store. It's also showing me the recent ones I've done here, so let's just close that just to show you this bit here. So this is the only thing that's actually hooked at the moment, and this will take me back to the Mac App Store link. Okay, so there you go. That's how to make a link from web page to web page. So maybe I want to go to this web page. I want to put this into my project base. So this project base is for S. And what I want to do is I want to link this page to the web page. So if I do the hook keyboard shortcut, and I haven't got anything on there at the moment, but I could do a command and V. Okay, so you see that the, the hook was still in there to the web page. And as you see, I've got it hooking now to the web page. Just to show you how it works, I so do the uh, hook and go to the effortless text transformation, and it takes me straight to the web page. And now that I'm on this web page, what I can do then is I'll do the uh, hook again. It shows me that I've got it connected to the project base which will take me straight to, or it'll take me to the other one which I've linked to already, which is the S on the App Store. Let's go to the project base and you see there that it's a bi-directional link. And the same sort of thing can be done on Craft as well. So I'm going to do the hook keyboard shortcut, and I'm going to do Command V. Now I'm in Craft now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the hook again, and you can see that it's already hooked to the web page. In fact, I can even hook these two things together. So, so let's do the caps lock and H again to get into the hook project. I'm going to do command C this time. I'm going to go over to the project base in draft. So I've got two project bases. So I've just shown that I can go between two lots of different documents. And this time I'm going to do the hook and I'm going to do command V. And once again, I've got a link going between the two. Just to prove that there, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the hook and tells me that I can go to the hook project page there, look. Now I'm back on the craft document. If I do the hook again, and it brings to whatever I've got hooked already, so let's go to the project base, and back into there, and it's gone back into drafts. 
What else can I do some uh, linking to? So let's go to Finder. So here's the Finder window, and I want to bring in a, a JPEG, for instance. Let's do the hook again. So caps lock and H. And I'm going to do the command copy. I'm going to go to this one here, do command and V. And this time it's hooked into a file. And if I go into the uh, craft document again, so let's do, do uh, image and I'm going to do the uh, hook and I'm going to do command V to paste it. And now I've hooked into that. So let's do go for the um, prove those uh, images have been hooked. So in this one, for instance, I'm going to go to do a hook and it'll bring this all up and you see this one here. Now if I press the uh, return key, it's going to open up in, in the application I've got set to open up those sort of files and it's going to go into Affinity Photo. Don't need that for the moment. Let's close that down. So I'm going to hook from the craft document and this time I'm going to go down to this one here and instead of doing the return key, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command Shift R and that opens up in the Finder. So that's just taking it back to the Finder to go to that file. And if I do the hook uh, again, and I can go from there into where I've got it hooked. So you see I've already got it hooked to another drafts document. What about if I want to go to a specific spot in a PDF? And you see in this one here I've got a hook in there, and it's a hook to a PDF. If I press return now, it's going to open that PDF. And as you can see, it's gone through to page 14. Now, to make these here, what you do is this. Okay, let's just make another link here. So let's say we're going to go to uh, page 10. And what I want to do is I want to go to this spot here in the PDF. So I'm going to go to the hook link now. So let's do activate hook. Hooks come up there, look. Now I'm going to do command and copy. I'm going to go to this craft document over here. So this is to, going to go to a PDF now. And I'm going to do the hook again. So let's do activate hook. Hook is coming up. And this time I can do command and V. So now that's hooking to that place in the PDF document. So let's just close that. And I'm going to go just to, uh, let's just uh, close it. I'll put it back onto page one, for instance. And then I'm going to quit that application. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into craft. So I'm in craft now. And I'm going to activate hook. And as you see, there's the hook link there. And I'm going to press on that. And it's going to open up the document in Skim. And it's gone to page 10. And it's gone to this place here. Initiate into comparing. So that's that way of doing it. If I don't have anything selected when I try and make a hook in this one here, what it'll do is it'll just open it up at the beginning of the document. And that's not going to be very useful if you're in a longer PDF because it'd take you an age to scroll through to get where you need to go to, if you can remember where it was that you wanted to go to within the PDF. So that's cool. Uh, what else can you do? So mail mate, this is a good one here. So I want to um, do a link to this email. So I'm going to activate the uh, hook again. And I'm going to do command and copy to put that link into hook. Then I'm going to go into this hook project page in craft again, or I could go into drafts as well. And uh, we can do it to an email, activate the hook. And I'm going to do Command and V to paste the hook. Now if I activate the hook again, as you can see, I've got the link to this one here, which is five great rides for a long weekend. If I tap on that there, it's going to open up that email in MailMate. So there you go. You can uh, hook into your emails as well, which is pretty cool. So what about other things that you might want to do? I'm in the Brave uh, browser, and what I want to do is I want to do a Markdown link. Activate a hook, copy Markdown link, which is Command M. I go into our project in Craft again, and let's go to this one here. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the Markdown link in here. So I'm going to do Command and V without bringing up hook first. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this link in the uh, project page and I'm going to click on it. And it takes me straight to that web page. So that's pretty useful. Also, if you're going to do PDFs and you're going to go to uh, the same PDF but different places, then I recommend you doing the markdown links 
and then you can have a different markdown link for different places within the PDF. Now one more thing that you might want to have a look at. So if you're um, in this one here for instance, just a whatever web page, and you want to do a project about this, you haven't got a project base set up for it yet, then what you can do is you can activate hook and then do command and N and it creates a new document in whatever you've set to be as your place for doing projects. In this case it's in um, drafts and there it's got the link in there already. So if I make that to be a linkable, just close that there just to show that it's going to be working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this one here, make this link clickable. I'm going to click on this here and it will open up that page for me. Straight into where I need to go to. Ain't that useful? So what I want to do now is I want to go and use something that I've got in the hook links already. So I'm going to do activate hook. And I want to go to the recents and I'll go to this one here. And I'm going to do a copy link. So I've copied the link to that one there and back into the drafts one here. What I want to do now is activate the hook. And then I'm going to go to command and V and I'm going to do hook. And you see I've got two things there hooked into that um, pro this new project page. I think Hook is a marvellous tool for productivity, especially if you're doing any sorts of projects. Maybe you've got to do something where you've got to have a whole lot of information sort of that's easily available and you want to have it within a project base. And it could be within drafts, it could be within craft, it could be within something like OmniFocus. There's all sorts of applications that you can link using Hook. I recommend that you give it a try. And this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky. Hope you've got something from this and if you've got some use out of it why don't you subscribe put a like on there as well bye bye now talk to you again soon